What's the difference between a good night and a really great night? A great night? I'm going to stop with a great night. Um, a great night is when you feel carried away by the music. You feel that the music is using you and likes you and stays with you. A good night is when the music has been using you sometimes. Mm. But there are other times where you went away from it and you went back to it and went away from it and went back to it. What saves you is because, in fact, you know what you're doing and you, it doesn't show. I mean, it doesn't show, but people can feel it. Mm -hmm. People, in fact, people feel the great night. Sure. So if they feel the great night, it means that they also feel the good night. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And there is also the bad night. <laughs> right. Which is when, when you that. run, when you are late, <laughs> when you run after the music, you, you are not there. Mm. You are never there when you have to be there. You are not there. You are not in sync. And of course, you, you hide it, you pretend, you, you, you play the tunes. But there is a, a lack of reaction um, with what could be there and is definitely not happening. And to what extent does the, the audience or the room or you know, external factors beyond your control, to what extent do they contribute to a, a bad or the good? Sound, or? A bad sound is definitely going to have a, mm -hmm. an effect, although I played with Didier Malherbe, a fabulous sax and flute player, wind instrumentalist, fab improviser, and we were touring in England and we really had this shitty sound in our monitor. And I, said, I was complaining all the time. You know. And one day he said, "Stop it, Pierre. I'm not here to. I'm not here to hear your complaints. I'm like you. I'm going to to deal with exactly the same equipment like you. But we are here to enjoy ourselves. Mm. So let's enjoy ourselves. What a beautiful wisdom, mm -hmm. you know. And that I needed this kick in the butt, this little reminder that, you know, it's not about." Trust, trust the music to still shine through a shitty PA. It will still be her. It will still be there. So it's difficult, but it's doable. This is a little bit when what happened to me when I left all my equipment behind in my Iraq and went on the road with only my guitar. I felt very often so small hmm. after playing with all that gigantic sound. I felt like, oh, that's it. That's what the guitar is after all. That little thing that hardly sound that hardly produces sound. And once you go back to that, you start recreating a different sense of relativity. And you start accepting that the guitar is aimed for intimacy, for small rooms, small audiences, even no PA. And people, you have to trust people that people are going to come towards the sound. Mm -hmm. They are going to come towards the music. They are, in fact, they have this education, they have this aim as well, that they want to. They don't necessarily want to be bombarded with things like this, you know. So that taught me a lot right there. And there were nights very difficult where the sound was so difficult. And I had to work through it. Right. That helped.